Yo, how is it going everybody? And welcome back to my AS Roma career mode. This is episode 11 and the exciting bit starts now. We're into the January transfer window, which means we're going to buy some players and we're also going to sell some players. So I'm going to go into the squad report page and we're going to kind of do two things at once. We're going to look at squad report and also see if we want to sell players. So Perry, he can stay. Mike, I want to try and move on because he's starting to go down. I've got a couple right backs in mind. I'm going to transfer list him for now. Oh, I already have. Um, I've got a couple right backs in mind to swap him with, which would probably work because they play for smaller clubs. Um, so yeah, Castan's definitely staying. So is Manalas. Those two have been absolutely brilliant. Um, Holly Bass. Again, he's another one I'm trying to look to move on because he's moved on in real life. Um, and he's also going down. He's only 30 though, I don't get it. Again, I've already added him to the... Oh no, I didn't. Uh, add to the transfer list now, I couldn't before. Um, De Ross is definitely staying. Uh, Nangolan, oh my god, look at his stats. He's mad. Uh, Pjanic is staying. Barber is definitely staying, although he's only on loan, so he's not staying for much longer. Um, Doom Beer, well, he's my only striker. Javinho, unfortunately, I'm going to transfer list. I don't, he's been rubbish for me. I, I just haven't liked him one bit, really. So, Javinho's going on the transfer list. Totti is staying. Um, you know, I, I said in the last episode, he had 49 pace. Yeah, I kind of meant about 39. Look at his, look at his pace. It's ridiculously bad, but he's brilliant. Uh, Ashley Cole, I'm keeping just as a backup, I suppose. Although I could sell him rather than Holly Bass, really. I haven't really thought of that one. I'll put him on the transfer list as well. Uchan is staying. Well, I've got no choice. Iturbe is staying. He's probably going to be a Barbo's replacement. So I probably won't get another right winger until next season. Uh, Skrupski. He is terrible. Uh, well, he has been, anyway. Stroopman's been not very good, but I'm keeping him anyway, because he's 24 years old and he's a decent backup. The story's only on loan. Pellegrini, I'll send out on loan. Um, same with Verd. And, oh, jeez, there's a lot of players here. Loan. He's deaf. This guy, I didn't know I had this guy at all. Uh, so I'm kind of glad that I do, because I can send him out on loan. He's 18 years old, 67 rated. Paredes, I'm going to put on the loan list. It doesn't mean I'm going to send him out on loan, but I'm going to put him there. Now, Florenzi wants to leave. I'm going to leave him for now, because if Marcon goes and I don't get a replacement right back, he will probably fit the bill. So I'm going to leave him for now. And if Marcon goes and we get another right back in, I'll put him on the transfer list, because I know he wants to leave. Leajic is staying, he's a decent backup. Abamyang is definitely staying, although he's injured. Um, Yang Rambiwa can stay, he's alright. Torresidis can stay, he's my backup right back. Spolly's only on loan, but he's rubbish anyway. I've not used him. Uh, Churchy I'll keep for now because I've chance listed Skrupski. Keita I'll keep. Marquinho is out on loan and he's gone down. Why? Destro's gone up by one. I'd probably look to sell him on. Um, in, in, in the next transfer window because um, he's out on loan at AC Milan right now. Dodo, see I want him to come back. I might br just bring him back and put him at left back. You know, I might do that because he's a left back really. I've never, never seen him play left mid ever. He's got four star skills as well. Uh, Tayo, I forgot about this guy. Um, Viviani, ugh. I'll keep him out on loan. Roe Magnoli can stay out on loan. Mendez can stay out on loan. Capridosi. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I'll, I'll think about Dodo. I might bring him back. I might not. Let's see what happens. Can I just say, guys, there isn't going to be much gameplay in this episode. There's probably only going to be one game because there's going to be a lot of transfer business happening. Or there should be. So, this is my shortlist. Um, there's a lot of players on this shortlist. Um, because I'm looking at goalkeepers, right backs. I've just shortlisted a bunch of players that look good, and for some reason, the scout reports. Oh, I haven't, I haven't scouted them. Oh, you idiot! But there's going to be a lot of transfer business in this episode, so this episode might be a bit longer. Hold on a minute. Theo Walcott could be the perfect replacement for Barbo. 
I'm gonna try and get him. I am gonna I am going to try and get him. Um yeah. Not yet though. I'll wait. This could also be a good signing. Aless Alessio, I think he said Alessandro. Alessio Churchy is a is an amazing player. He, um, he is ridiculous. Uh, I'll scout him and I'll add him to my shortlist. And yeah, let's carry on. We're fi our scouts are finding some good players that I completely forgot about. I mean, Pereira is another good one, but he's on loan at Juventus, so I can't really get him at the moment. But I'll add him to my shortlist anyway and scout him. Right, so I've made a few inquiries about some of the players, but obviously I've, I've inquired for way too many, so I've ha I have to wait to inquire for some more. But let's get into this game now against Udinese. This may be the only game of this episode, and if it is, I apologise. But then again, this is transfer window. You don't, I don't think you're going to expect many games. But this is a big one because Udinese are fourth. I would normally simulate. Playing in the snow today. This is a first. Let's hope we can still win in the snow. That's not a good start from nine goal line though. This is nice passing play. Look at this. Come on. If Barbo, we Barbo, we Barbo. Come on. Saved. Okay. Oh, what a ball from Doombeer. Come on, Pjanic. Good turn. Yes, Pjanic. Good goal. Excellent stuff from Pjanic. Got the ball. Turned his man. Slotted it in. Beautiful. Oh, wow. No. No, that's so lucky. That is so lucky. That's ridiculous. Perrin came out for that. And it was headed on by one of my players away from him and headed in by Dina Tarle. Oh, my days. That's so bad. Let's see this again. Let's look. Yes, Manolash, you idiot. He took it away from Perry. It's a good header, though. Good header from Di Natale. Perry nearly got to that, actually. Right, half-time. And it's 1-1. And it's been a very good game. Apologies if you can't see the ball much. Or if you can't really see much, to be honest with you. The snow on the pitch is driving me mad. But it's fun. It, it's it's a challenge to it's a challenge to actually see what I'm doing. One one. Oh, hold on a minute. Janich. That never happened, okay? I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm gonna try Sanabria up front because he's my only backup. Um so let's try Sanabria Sanabria up front. Let's see how he does. And goal on to try it from range. No! Oh, no! Oh, man. That would have been such a great goal to end it. 1-1 one, one full time. Not a bad game, actually. Right, so we got some inquiries back. Uh, Danny Lowe. 12 and a half, is that it? Is that genuinely it? It's really? Is that it? Okay. Well, we'll try, we'll try and swap him with Mike on. Mark on to 2.9, so if we put in like 4 million just to start it off, let's see if we can get that deal done. That'd be an awesome one. Chemi Linas has just joined. Okay, fair enough. Right, so we've got some scout reports now. And we've also got more inquiries and updates as well. So Rui, or however you say it, has recently joined Real Sociedad, so we've got to rule him out. So you make a 4.1 million for him. I'll wait until he's overall. Uh, Vesalico, I'm gonna try and sign him anyway, just because, just because I can. I did inquire. It says there you should scout first before inquire. <laughs> nah, mate. Uh, Jimenez, 10.5. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to swap someone if he's that much. Uh, someone like Kater or Younger and Bewer. Younger and Bewer. Let's swap Younger and Bewer. And uh, just oh, what am I doing? Add on one million. There we go. Um, Dechilio. Dechilio has no interest in joining us. Screw you then. 
Grimaldo 3.9, Camacho 21.5 million. Uh, blur. I'll try Camacho, get rid of all that money, and I'll just go a long shot here and just straight up swap Cater. Let's just see what they start off with. Grimaldo, on the other hand, um, I, I will, um, I will happily swap him with Ashley Cole, wherever he is, there he is, Ashley Cole, let's just see what we can get going here, uh, update from Germany, let's have a look, ooh, Matip, Matip's not a bad choice, let's add to shortlist, enquire, Stindle, who's this guy? Look, he looks like very good, but he's a camp, so I don't need him. Castro. Ooh, Castro's a good CM, isn't he? He's a good sentiment. Okay. Uh, oh, Gundogan. I doubt I'll be able to get Gundogan. So, Schalke would consider 8 million for Matty. Why not have a go? Why not? We could, we could, we could do some deals here with, um, what's his face? Where is he? Where's he gone? Where's he at? Where's he gone? There he is. How did I miss him? My, Mr. Yang Rimbiwa. We could do some, we could do some swap deals with him, really, couldn't we? Ooh, we got a transfer offer for nine goal, and another one. PSG wants him. Oh, see, this is where it gets tough because PSG just spill money out. You know what? You know what? I want to keep him, but you're gonna have to pay 60 million if you want to get him. I know that's massive, but it's PSG. It could happen. Um. If you increase the cash on to 7.6 million, we'll give you Danilo. I will happily. Oh no, I won't. Seven, no. 6.5. 6.5 million. Well, I would take Danilo any day of the week. Any day of the week.